Hello and welcome to Common Rider Black Man. As we continue on Drive Month with now Common Rider Drive Saga, Common Rider Heart slash Common Rider Mock. So these two are these two characters, Heart and Mock. They both share a movie, but they both had their separate stories. So, we're, so we're going to start off with Hearts. Both take place three years after the Roy Mutes have been defeated, and Mach has come come back to Japan with Cha with hoping to revive Chase. Twitchy does so with Q and Rena, who, by the way, stole Lady Gaga's old wardrobe before she was in A Star Is Born. And so, at their best efforts. They end up using the drive driver, and by shock, they didn't revive Chase. Instead, they revived Heart, Medic, and Brain. But both Medic and Brain are consciences inside of Heart, so they got to put the jokes in there because, yeah. If anything, this movie is alright for the most part, but the one thing I would comment on is Gen Pachido, if only because he's such a doofus at his job. And not to mention, oh, and also to mention, Rina and Gen Pachido are both engaged. That, that's about it there. But yeah, Heart's back. And there's one more, and there's another Roy Mute that's out, and it's, well, there's a Roy Mute that's been hanging around, I guess, that's a combination of all 108 Roy Mutes, with a number that's completely crunched together to even get that, and I think for it, you'd have to add... Now I'm curious because the Roy Mute number is five is five eight eight six, and it's a total sum of one and a hundred and eight. So I want to look something up right now. Like if it would if a if five thousand and eight hundred and eighty six is like what happens when you multiply it? Because give me a moment. Well, I guess while I'm talking about the plot and can look it up. For this movie, Hart actually becomes a detective and makes, and makes, um, yeah, Gampachito look bad, which in my opinion shouldn't be too hard. And as soon as they find the Roy Mute, oh right, crap, that's not even it. I just multiplied 808 and 808 and didn't and nowhere close to 5,886. Well, let me try to divide. Okay, my point is, so once they find the monster, like Hart tries to fight him in his super evolved form, and he can't beat him in that, which personally just makes me a little sad because Hart is undefeated. Because at the end, he didn't, well, get killed. He died. Been, and he died undefeated. It's so, so having him actually beat the monster in his, like, evolved form would have been uh, great for me. Also, I'm still curious about how they got that number. 5,886. The math somewhere has to be off. But, anywho, since he can't fight in his super evolved form, both, well, br this is more or less Brain's fault. Brain tries to conjure up and synchronize with the drive driver along with Medic so that Heart can transform into a common Rider. This is why I say it's Brain's fault. It's only been three years since they died, so how could he forget how common Rider Drive looks like? Because... They end up creating a form that's a combination of type speed, type wild, and type technic. 
and I look at and seeing it makes me want to look at Brain and say, dude, you are so useless. Like, I bet you if it was Heart's form, you would not forget how that looks like. Seriously. But, ugh. but let's see here. Heart actually has quite a bit of character in this movie because he can accept that the Roy Mutes have been defeated. And so seeing one of his own actually stoop so low, it like it makes them look bad to him. And he does not need that and he does not need that reputation on it's it's a pride thing basically. And he doesn't need that re reputation placed on his head as a Roy mute. Oh, not to mention he meets up with Shinosuke again in this movie. Oh, oh, which by the way, Shinosuke, he makes small cameos in this and in the mock portion. And yeah, they're there for they're there for a moment. But yeah, what does this movie well what does this part really do? Alright, it's just what does this part really do is it's a basically a pride thing between heart and gen but i can take it seriously more with heart and not gen Pachido because he's a dumbass and seriously with him being so busy with his job where exactly did he find the time to have the idea to get engaged but what would I know? Anywho, Hard and five eight eight six. Okay, that's the right number. Yeah, I did say it right. Five eight eight six. Fight again and common writer heart. Let's talk about that suit, shall we? I like the fact that it has a cloak going down. But the rest of the suit, I don't know. For some reason now when I look at this suit, my mind immediately goes to a clogged artery. And I can see... And, and I can actually see why now. This suit looks like a clogged artery. Like the freaking horns, like making a freaking vein... And with and with that small head there, might as well be the heart or something. But yeah, this suit Yeah, this suit reminds me of a clogged artery. Anywho, Heart beats the monster and then but using that type of energy and power, it it also kills heart, medic, and brain again. And so that's the end for them. This movie exists. The hard portion it's worth watching more for Hart and not Genpachido because he's accepted that the Roy Mutes have lost and he wants to leave and he wants to end things on a better note for them so i won't fault him there it's just Gimpachido in this movie that's a who's not make me want to watch it oh and while i'm at it there's this one i guess shift car slash signal bike there that resembles there's this one shift car slash signal bike there of that resembles the ride crosser that combination of Mach and Chaser's bike together. Which leads into the Mach portion of the movie. Go has actually been talking to one girl that we've seen before in the show that was a criminal. Who's, who's now getting released from prison. They The whole point of the movie there is them getting together. Which 
is a better, which is a much better way to really, well, to truly end Go's character arc there. Because her and this girl actually do have something in common with both their bat with both their dads being really evil men. So they both have something honestly to having they both have something in common there. But the monster of this movie is what I forgot which I forgot which Roy Mute number it was, but it's something that in that's involved with the girl's dad and how first okay first things first people are getting killed like people are getting killed and the monster is saying that blood will be on your hands and anyone that tries to love you will never love you and so most of this movie right now is these two getting together and mock really Simp working to sympathize with her with how much he really likes and appreciates this girl and it's just because they both they both go through a lot together they both escape the cops together shinosuke eventually finds ma eventually finds go and as opposed to well it looks like he's stopping him but really, he drops his signal bike in his pocket so for him to find out later. And there's another character to mention in this movie. It's the guy that Chase copied his appearance from. His name is Kano. He was the highway patrol cop from the end of Drive. And he makes a debut in this movie. And he makes his... And he makes his actual character debut in this movie with finding mock and ex and basically giving him his gear back and so once go finds the monster he he goes after it and eventually that one shift car of the ride crosser gets to go and they trans and he's able to transform into common writer mock chaser and before transforming i want to say that the shift car actually well uses kano kano as a host for a minute because before transforming go actually sees chase and he's telling him it's time to get up and beat the enemy. And so, Common Rider Mock Chaser. Let's talk about that suit. It's a bit. Alright, here it is. Mock Chaser. A clear image. Huh. I take that back. This suit is... Hmm. Oh. This suit is... It's not too bad. Honestly, this is like... This is honestly like a better version. This is honestly like a better version of... When Mach had the upper half of his torso and Chaser suit. This is a better version of that. Because all the colors will match together because there's red blue and to top it off silver and I, and I think it works well here i'm not saying i really like the suit i'm saying it's all it it's all right and it works and so at the and so after mock beats the monster he him and the girl whose name i forgot was it you or something? Maybe. They finally get together. But before that, like, Kano arrests Go for assaulting an officer. And then Go calls him out on it saying, you waited until now to arrest me. And then Kano just looks at him and says, well, rules are rules. <laughs> and to that I say, dick move, man. Just dick move 
Seriously, just doing that is such a dick move. And so this movie starts back from the beginning where where she is waiting for him to get out of jail and they officially get together. Oh, also, in this in the mock portion, we also get to see that like like what I said at the end of the drive review, Shinosuke and Kiriko, they do get married and they do have a son and we see him as a baby and his name is Eiji. But that's a story for another time. That was a sock. Anywho, the mock portion is quite better. Like, it's a good story. Like, it's a good story arc ending for Go and. Eh, just about better. But next time. We will be looking at the Common Writer Brain Saga. So, see you then.